Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about Nexity Month. Before we start, I want to take a moment to thank our respected Dean Madam, Dr. Nandi Ma'am Desai and uh, HOD Physiology de Department, Dr. Nileshwari Ma'am Wada. This project is started under the guidance of Dr. Ashwin Sir and in this PPT we are going to discuss about uh, causes, introduction, features, treatment and symptoms. Let's first talk about hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is caused by the low circulating level of uh, thyroid hormones mainly T3 and T4. It leads to mixed in adults and retinism in children. There are some effects on the body uh, due to hypothyroidism, hair loss, feeling cold, goiter, slow heart rate, weight gain, menstrual changes, constipation and etc. <laughs> Adult hypothyroidism is called myxedema because of the characteristic infiltration of the skin by myxedemous tissue. And myxedema develops in person who have almost total lack of thyroid hormone function. Myxedema in face, deadness under the eyes and the swelling of the face and non fitting edema. non fitting edema means when we pressed it and it not meant pit because of the accumulation of the protein and with protein with uh, hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate. So now let's talk about the causes of myxedema. It is a disease of thyroid gland and it is caused by genetic disorder or iron deficiency in the child. There is deficiency of the TSH or the thyrotrophin releasing hormone in the body in myxedema. Now we discuss about symptoms of myxedema. First, changes in mental state because of imbalance of thyroid hormone in our body. It affects our brain, so brain does not work properly. In myxedema, overall metabolism of body is affected, so our body is not work properly. So because of it, we have low body temperature, low blood pressure, slow breathing, and also we have pulse below 60 beats per minute. In myxedema, our immune system becomes weakened, so we have increased the risk of infection and also we have absence or slow reflex because uh, myxedema is affect our nervous system. So now let's talk about the clinical features of myxedema. The first one is general features. It includes tiredness, weight gain, intolerance to cold, mental sluggishness, decreased BMR, etc. The low level of T3 and T4 hormone causes weight gain and tiredness due to low BMR. The less energy production causes intolerance to cold. The next is cardiovascular feature. It includes bradycardia, that is low heartbeat and atherosclerosis. Thyroxine is an important hormone in our body. Low level of T3 and T4 hormone causes less cardiac contractility and less cardiac output. It may even lead to atherosclerosis due to buildup of cholesterol. The next is dermatological features. The skin becomes dry and yellowish and there is swelling of face and puffiness under eyes. The buildup of mucopolysaccharides leads to loosening of collagen fibers and collection of water in our body under the skin. This leads to swelling of face and puffiness under the eyes. So here we are with some clinical features. First, there is neuromuscular features like fatigue and stress reflex reaction time is prolonged because thyroid hormone is involved in myelin sheet formation and due to hypothyroidism there is deterioration in myelin sheet so impulse will not able to transmit as fast as it can. Second is reproductive features that is manners and infertility. It is due to decrease in production of thyroid hormone and LH. Third is gastrointestinal features like constipation because hypothyroidism leads to slow movement of uh, gastrointestinal tract. Fourth is hematological features that is anemia. It is due to decreasing level of vitamin B12. So today we will be discussing about the treatments of the hypothyroidism. The first one the dietary intakes. So for that we will be taking the salt which is power fortified with the iodine. The other thing we will be avoiding some foods like the goitrodism products like the broccoli, cabbage. And the other one would be the soy products, but we would consider that in the patient which have a significant amount of soy products in that uh, diet. The, in the other case, there is severe case such as Hashimoto thyroiditis, in which the patient would be taking the injection as a lifelong. For that, we would initially we would be taking the 25 mg to 50 mg per day. Then we would see the blood test and the TSH, TSH test. For seeing the amount of T4 levels or the thyroxine that would be given to the patient as an injection. 
Then the third one is the antibiotic steroid treatment may help with the symptoms.